chaos is about to ensue. Hello everyone welcome back to another video. Today we will be seeing what would happen if for whatever reason, all the spirits from each realm in sky were to fight. Keep in mind this is purely theoretical and to make this video family friendly, the spirits are watching a computer generated simulation and there is no real fighting. Who will win? Here we go. Let's start off with the Isle of Dawn. The point spirit would probably not survive the first round as he would be distracted while pointing and would get hit by a piano. The ushering stargazer would survive as she could be a useful asset and lead other spirits into battle. As a side note, each team consists of all the spirits from a particular realm. The rejecting voyager would not survive either. Because he would abandon the battle. Let's move on to prairie. The first spirit up is the butterfly charmer. He stands no chance as he would be playing with the butterflies while the whole world is ending around him. Both the bird whisperer and the exhausted dock worker would survive because they have tools that can help them in battle. The dock worker has boats, and the bird whisperer has birds. Trust me. Birds are scary. They can literally pick up a person. All the spirits in prairie villages would not survive except the applauding bellmaker and the laughing eyed catcher. They just look buff. I have nothing else to say. In the hidden forest, the shivering trailblazer would definitely survive as she could lead other spirits through the cold. All the spirits in the brook area would not survive except the hide and seek pioneer because if you can play hide and seek, you can probably tolerate a war. The dismayed hunter and the apologetic lumberjack are some of the only spirits that carry weapons and will definitely live through the early stages of the battle. The other two spirits in this area. The Whale Whisperer and the Tearful Lightmaner would also survive in my opinion. All of the spirits in Valley are buff people with battle masks except for the Confident Sightseer, the Manta Whisperer, and the Cheerful Spectator. The Confident Sightseer would most likely survive because she seems like she could help the other spirits as she is. Well. Confident. The Manta Whisperer would survive because... And we have already clarified that that piano is deadly. Since the wasteland has very extreme conditions, all of the spirits would survive except for the fainting warrior and the frightened refugee as they would probably be too weak or too scared to carry into battle. And finally in Vault of Knowledge, all of the spirits here would survive because they all have some sort of mystical power that could be utilized to their advantage. Now 27 out of the 37 spirits will move on to round 2. Since there is only one Isle Spirit left, they would be heavily outnumbered and become eliminated. This means that Isle is officially out of the competition. As for Prairie, the two weakest spirits out of the four that survived are the exhausted dock worker and the applauding bellmaker. They just got tired. The laughing light catcher and the bird whisperer will move on to round three. In Forest, the two weakest spirits are the tearful light miner and the apologetic lumberjack. The light miner for obvious reasons, and for comedic purposes, the apologetic lumberjack also got hit by a piano. This means that the dismayed hunter and the whale whisperer would move on to round 3. I think that the whale whisperer is powerful because whales are very big and powerful creatures and if he can tame and speak with them, they can benefit the forest spirits heavily. In Valley, the two weakest spirits are the confident sightseer and the manta whisperer. I just think that all the other spirits are more overpowered compared to these two. And we should not forget. In Wasteland, all the spirits are very strong and each have their own unique ability. Assuming they work together as a team, they should all be able to move on to the next round. And lastly in Vault, the two weakest spirits are the Praying Acolyte and the Polite Scholar because they don't have as many special abilities in comparison to the other spirits. Now only 16 out of the original 37 spirits will move on to. Compared to all the other realms, the prairie spirits are the weakest and don't stand much of a chance against the other realms. This means that prairie is eliminated. The same thing goes for forest. But, I think that the whales are such an asset to team forest, that the whale whisperer will be the spirit that moves on to the finals. The dismayed hunter would be eliminated. Valley is our strongest team so far and at least 50% of the spirits from this realm will move on, the two that I think are the weakest are the proud victor, and, unfortunately, the cheerful spectator. 
No more piano bonking. This means that the Boeing medalist, the handstanding thrill seeker, and the backflipping champion will move on to the finals. In Wasteland all of the spirits are also very strong. However, I feel that the lookout scout and the saluting protector fall behind the others as they both are good defense for Team Wasteland, but at this point in the battle, they need a fence. These two will be eliminated, and the stealthy survivor and the courageous warrior will move on to the finals. And as for Vault, the spirit that will not move on to the finals is the Memory Whisperer. Since the levitating adept and meditating monastic have a lot of power and ability, they are stronger than the Memory Whisperer and will move on to the... There are 8 spirits left so let me get rid of the ones that will most likely not survive. In Vault. The meditating monastic doesn't have as much skill as the levitating adept as he can only make himself float. The handstanding thrill seeker, the back flipping champion, and the Boeing medalist only made it this far because of their muscular strength so I think that back flipping champion will make it due to his strength and acrobatic skills. And for Wasteland, both spirits are very strong and will move on to the... Right off the bat. The Whale Whisperer will summon a whale and take out the courageous soldier and he will be eliminated. Since the stealthy survivor is all alone, she will hide away. The backflipping champion will follow. After a while of searching, the backflipping champion will give up and go after the Whale Whisperer and the Levitating Adept. During this time, the Whale Whisperer and the Levitating Adept find each other and start to fight. The Whale Whisperer summons a whale but the Levitating Adept uses his telekinesis to deflect the whale, however the sheer strength of the whales is too much for the Levitating Adept to handle as in his cutscene, he can only lift up a memory cube. This means that the Levitating Adept will be eliminated. The backflipping champion catches up to the Whale Whisperer and they begin to fight. The Whale Whisperer summons a whale that charges towards the backflipping champion but the backflipping champion flips over the whale and with the Whale Whisperer being defenseless, he is eliminated. With this victory, the backflipping champion is very weak and tired but persists in finding the stealthy survivor. Eventually, the backflipping champion finds the stealthy survivor and they begin to fight. But as she walks towards him, out of hiding, she gets seen by a krill and is eliminated. This means that the backflipping champions is our winner. As always, thank you all so much for watching. See you in the next one.